welcome to this video um, for uh, this specific uh, content we will gonna discuss the external flow force convection external flow <clears throat> so again last time uh, we have uh, uh, discuss the two different flows we have the external and internal flows but uh, for this specific topic we are gonna focus our discussion on the external flows and then last time we've also um, uh, differentiate the uh, forced and natural convection and for uh, this specific topic we are gonna have a detailed um, discussion regarding this forced convection so all in all we have an uh, external flow and forced convection okay so uh, in this specific lecture we will focus our problem by computing heat transfer rates um, to or from a uh, surface in external uh, flows okay so in such uh, I mean in such boundary layers that develops freely I mean without constraints that is being uh, imposed by adjacent surfaces no because we are dealing with the uh, external flows there will always um, exist a region of the flow outside the boundary layer that we discussed last time wherein in which velocity or yung the temperature gradients are uh, being negligible right so examples of those includes the fluid motion um, uh, fluid motion over a plate surface or fluid motion over a plate uh, flat uh, plate uh, what else uh, flow over uh, aside from a flat plate uh, we can also have a flow over curved surfaces such as uh, flow um, over the um, surface of a sphere or say a, a cylinder um, it can be an airfoil or um, maybe some turbine blade and so on <coughs> So, for the moment, we will only confine our attention to problems of just, uh, I mean, low speed uh, flow of the fluid um, with no phase change. Okay. So, we will focus our discussion regarding that. So, for this uh, specific topic, the external flow force convection, we will gonna discuss some um, heat transfer coefficient I mean how we can uh, solve the heat transfer coefficient H right because like what I have said the main uh, challenge here in the convection heat transfer is how can you find the heat transfer coefficient H okay so we will be needing some some dimensionless number like the nasal number um, what else we will also I will also introduce another uh, concept like the local and average coefficient and the film surface temperature okay and then uh, for flat surfaces we will also consider the um, Reynolds number and some working equations there also with uh, the cylindrical surfaces okay and some uh, spear okay. so let us discuss that one by one let's start with the um, uh, heat transfer coefficient oops heat transfer coefficient eight H okay so um, to determine this we need uh, uh, 
we did some um, methods and equations right to find this heat transfer coefficient because like what we have discussed last time um, every condition of your uh, fluid has an, uh, a specific uh, value of your uh, heat transfer coefficient okay so one of oh, one thing that we need here is your nasal number okay but before that recall that um, since that our primary objective is to determine the uh, convection uh, coefficient convection heat transfer coefficient um, and this is the main challenge and we need to determine this uh, for uh, different conditions diba? Uh, need to determine the value of this for different different flow conditions such as uh, whether it is under a laminar flow or turbulent or in transition and aside from the different flows um, we'll also consider the uh, geometries the geometries like the um, is it a uh, flow over a flat surface or uh, the flow is in um, uh, the flow of your fluid is over a cylindrical surface or over a sphere surface and so on so the challenge here talaga is to determine the value of this h given such conditions okay so once heat transfer coefficient is obtained once we obtain this we can now uh, easily solve the heat transfer rate or our heat flux right because we simply have uh, uh, q is equal to h ts over the fluid temperature right so if we um uh find this h we can i mean if we already find the value of our h then we can easily solve the value of our q okay so in this topic of forced convection external flow we can obtain this um, coefficient through the um, nasal number through our nu and uh, if we can recall also our nu is equal to h the characteristic length all over our uh, k okay we're in um, it is equal to c r e x raised to m p r n okay so the right hand side is the simple uh, power law relation where uh, m and n are constant exponents and the value of the constant c depends on the geometry and flow so it depends on the geometry and flow so uh, basically this right hand side um, uh, varies depend upon the flow condition on the different condition okay so always remember this um, always remember this um, nasal number okay so aside from a uh, nasal number also uh, we are still here under the um, heat transfer coefficient we need also to um, have a background regarding the what we call the local and average coefficient 